At their peak, the International Harvester Company was reputed to be the largest and most influential farm equipment manufacturer of the 20th century. These promotional and information films make up the first in a series of DVD programs featuring agricultural machinery and other heavy goods manufactured by International Harvester and are a reminder of their heyday in which all things seemed possible. Shot in some of the finest farming land in the country at Harnage Grange in Shropshire, this next film demonstrates how to set up and operate a general purpose plough, although other ploughs are mentioned as well, following the techniques of good ploughing. Using the sturdy B414 tractor with the Veritouch hydraulic system, ploughing perfectionist Hubert Rees obviously takes pride in a job well done. As a matter of interest, the film is narrated by Monty Crick, better known to all mature Archer's fans as the voice of Dan Archer. So here it is, Ploughing Perfection. In the heart of rural England, the River Severn slowly winds its way to the sea, between the hills, past historic homes and through rich valleys. Here in Shropshire, under the shadow of the region, lies some of the finest farming land in the country, but it was not always so. From this rough, wild state, man, through his persistence and perseverance with primitive tools, began the transformation that we all expect to see today. It's thanks to the plough, the basic tool in farming, that this transformation has been brought about. The plough that cuts into the soil, turns it over to bury rubbish, and leaves a new surface exposed to be conditioned by the elements for the next crop. This very interesting film starts with a brief history of the International Harvester Company and features the McCormick horse-drawn mechanical reaper which changed the face of agriculture forever. IH progressed over the years to become the largest producer of farm implements in the world as well as dominating the large truck and heavy plant markets. Roots of Power is International Harvester's 1974 account of their progress. They are truly standout performers in many ways, these international 30 series tractors. Up front, of course, you have the standout performance of the unmatchable international engine with its unmatchable lugging ability to pull you through the tough spots without shifting. A multi-range, high-torque diesel that enables you to get more work out of each gallon of fuel and each hour of time. An engine with unparalleled reliability that you can depend on season after season. You get the standout performance of smooth, quick, easy shifting due to an electro-hydraulic transmission brake that operates only when the clutch is fully disengaged and the range lever is in neutral, thus making shifting quick and easy. And the brake is completely self-adjusting. 
you have 16 speeds forward in two ranges, plus eight speeds in reverse. With electro-hydraulic no-clutch shifting between each successive pair of speeds, between first and second, third and fourth, and so on. If you're in fourth gear, for instance, and you suddenly hit some heavy going, you simply downshift to third without declutching, without any power interruption. Once you're through the tough spot, you make a no-clutch shift back up to fourth, again without any power interruption, and resume your previous speed. The wide selection of field speeds are spaced to help you work more acres productively per hour and are particularly well suited to speed sensitive operations. You get highly usable ground. Certainly, International Harvester was a force to be reckoned with in the middle part of the 20th century. And these old movies go a long way to capturing a flavor of that. There will be more amazing archive films covering the progress of this iconic company in the second volume of this series. So watch out for that in the coming months.